So this material might be a bit of a hard sell because it's more of a happy accident than anything. Um, it just sort of came out of playing around with uh, the material editor and trying a few things out. So there seems to be a few anomalies. I don't know if it's of use to anyone, but it's uh, free to download below and just have a play around with it because it's pretty powerful if you can work out what it's doing fully. Um, I got a rough idea, so let's have a look at the master material. So if we click into here, um, the main thing that I wanted to really convey was the use of the component mask. So here we are taking the pixel normal from the mesh and then just masking out the B. And B in RGB is equivalent to X, Y, Z. So we're taking the Z axis, which is up and down, and masking out. So we're masking out any pixel that isn't facing upwards. Then looking at how that can be shifted using a bias where we can move that value up and down. And we'll look at that in a moment. And then I'm also using a texture, which can be kind of procedurally created clouds uh, from Photoshop. That's just one I've brought in. And then playing around with different levels of contrast and all those exposed parameters in the material instance. We're then in a position where we can move that graduation up and down. Now I've called it a dusting material because that's kind of what it looks like, but it can do quite a lot more. So, you know, you can really play around and shred with the numbers. I don't know, maybe create a whole series of planets and with different textures and materials and colors and one example that I've been playing around with is this crab material which uses exactly the same base but then plays around with those parameters in that material. So here's that combination. So you'll note that it's the colors that are the anomaly and this underside color seems to have the biggest impact and effect on everything else because when i take that away it still seems to be the black and the white of the graduation and then using that pink color so anything that we select there anything that's closest to the white has a more subtle effect anything more uh, saturated in that range seems to then impact all of the white area so that gives us some control but then it's this underside color and that's what I haven't worked <laughs> out, which kind of feels like it's multiplying everything on top and darkening it, but it seems to be having quite a dramatic effect. Hey, you know, it looks great there. Um, obviously the roughness doesn't need to be that. It can be one <laughs> or zero uh, in terms of our roughness control, but maybe that roughness was a little bit harsh for our crab. Let me pull that out so we can just have a look in relation to our crab. And you know, look, it's just, it's really, really beautiful. I like it very much. Um, one thing to bear in mind is because we are masking out from the Z uh, in world space, that then isn't baked onto the mesh. So if we rotate, you'll note on the claws there, as we're rotating, the black is staying on the upper side. So if I turn the whole thing upside down, the bottom becomes black, but you'll see as I'm rotating, it becomes orange and the top, if I come around here. So as I rotate, the top will turn orange. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's useful. I like it. Um, and you know, don't forget, have a lot of fun with kind of shredding the numbers, of course, and seeing what other effects you can get. And you know, the crab is a good example for 
playing around with these these kind of um, values because of the kind of natural patination and texture that you get from or on a crab you know sometimes you get really nice not greens you do get blues on crab not that and so <laughs> as i say don't quite fully understand it but look it's gorgeous um and you know there you go new planet don't know what it's called there's also some control over the uvs and then the contrast of the texture so you know, actually there with the color it seems more logical in some way but it seems that when i change the underside color it definitely affects everything one other thing i've noticed is this grad color it seems to shift if i'm going between positive and negative you can see just below the center line it's gone yellow and then when i shift it all the way through the values it then goes to blue which i think means it's taking the, the color attributed to whether it's positive or negative in in the z-axis um so yeah anyway have a play uh, it can do a multitude of things you can of course swap out the texture to anything and, and uh, I don't seem to have many in loaded to really illustrate that point who knows who knows what it's useful for that's rather nice kind of graphically again you know from my graphics 